Okay, we are reviewing this Ashland Avenue ring that I got off a deal dash for only a one cent. As you'll see, it comes in this box with velvet inside. And it comes in a little velvet bag. As you see, it says Ashland Avenue. So, um, like I said, right now, that's the only thing I don't like with, um, deal dashes. There's literally people on there that will overbid and try bidding you higher, you know, just like uh, what you, when you watch on um, Storage Wars, because they think they can make money. And... This is what it looks like. Let's see here. I know I ain't gonna fit on my ring finger, but that doesn't mean I won't try it on my pinky. Sure. Not bad for a penny, huh? <laughs> so. Like I said, it'd be too tight on my ring finger because I'm like a size 9. And this is like a 7, I believe. 7, 8. So. Like I said. Hmm. <laughs> Well, they said it's a go for third shift, but now, after my husband and I talked, um, I'm not sure if I really want to go take something like that. Um, the next piece of jewelry I'm waiting for is a bracelet. I paid almost $20 for it off a deal dash but yeah it's supposedly valued over a hundred dollars like this is valued over a hundred dollars i guarantee you on ebay wouldn't really sell near that probably around a ten dollar bill or yeah twelve bucks no one would pay twenty dollars for this little guy i guarantee you <laughs> he says you can't have fun for a penny, huh? But, yeah. Um. What, what I'm trying to do is, since I'm having issues with some um, deal dash right now, I'm figuring, because right now I got a couple people on deal dash trying to bid me up higher on a, on a bag. That was mm, by a Paris company, but the bag's made in China. Like, I don't want to tell people, it's like, you're, you're not going to get your money back off of it, because on eBay, if you do your research, it does not sell. All that stuff on um, Deal Dash does not sell on eBay. You be having to sit there and keep paying to relist it until you have that one person that feels the impulse to buy it for the price that you're asking for. And two, they might kick you down and point out some flaws. Like I said. But. Like I said. Huh. So, like I said, um, another thing I'd like to do is, um, you know, like, like I want to say to people, 
Um, like I said, um, pretty much. Right now, I'm waiting for UPS to bring my um clock. I got an off a of deal dash for only almost four bucks. Retails. Oh, supposedly over a hundred dollars too. Well, like I don't want to tell people. Um, I'm also waiting for my brand new purse to come. I could have got had earrings come today with this, but um, why I traded that for bids is I don't have pierced ears. My mom don't have pierced ears. Ernie's mind don't have pierced ears. So there's no way of even making money on it. It's another thing to say. So. Yeah. So. Right now what I'm going to do. For the next so many months. Is I'm probably not going to bid on anything on deal dash. I'll just sit there and. Let them give me my 150 free bids and and then just kind of, you know, move on till I can, you know, see if I could, because once I get things paid down, if I see something that I feel we absolutely need. Or that I feel I could get for a real good deal. Like I said, I think it's like storage chores where people want to outbid you and make you overpay for items. Making you keep buying bids. Yes, it's not really fun. People got to realize that when you're poor and you're trying to get something for cheap that you know you could use. So... But, yeah, I'm going to have pretty much fun with this ring I, I got for only a penny. Um, but, like I said, <laughs> uh, but, Overall, um, my, like I would say is, you know, I was, like, like I said, I don't know how many times I was hoping to get one of them bovin and bovinant purses and handbags. And like I said, I last night someone went and must have had like over a thousand bids or hurried up and buy the, bought a thousand bids to outbid me and paid over 50 bucks for a handbag and I'm like you're that's what they're selling for right on eBay like I said before you bid on any of it do your research on these other auction sites because otherwise you're gonna be overpaying literally and right now, I'm in a bidding war with Uncle Tan and, and some Medibar Brian or something. Meta Brian. And I hate to say it to them both. I'm not planning on reselling that bag. I, I do like having spare bags, you know. And it would help with packing if we were to move out of the apartment. If they all would, you know, understand what they want. Right now it's going for around, I think, 30 some dollars. And it's, they value it at $3,200. And everybody says they would never pay that. So, just to kind of let you all know, too. Like with that elderly woman, she overpaid for that bag. There was no return, no re no exchange. 
they had that symbol and and I'm like, do you really realize that?